I want to wholesale with you, right? I want to do a wholesale deal with you, man. I have a lot to bring to the table, and it's going to make us both more money if we combine resources and we wholesale together, right? You might be thinking, oh, I'm just trying to get in the game, but wholesaling's tough. I got to find motivated sellers. Already did that. I got to determine the scope of work. I don't know how to determine the scope of work. How do I do that? Don't worry. I'm about to do that for you. I got to find end buyers. Oh, I don't know how to find end buyers. Don't worry. I'm going to do that for you, and I'll walk you through the entire process of doing a wholesale deal with me right now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. This is the show where I work with real estate investors like you, one-on-one. -on -one. Today, we're working with my man, Brian. Brian, you got $10,000. And you want to do a wholesale deal. And you want to do one with me. Can I make that happen? You bet your fucking ass I can. Hell yeah. Let's do it, bro. Now, some of you might be like, wait. Why does this guy need 10 grand? We're wholesale. We don't need any money. Yes, you do. Look, what they teach you on the internet these days, folks, what the latest guru is saying at his seminar course, what the latest prick from HGTV who sells his likeness uh, to the consulting companies to sell a course where they're never actually at the seminars, which, by the way, you don't have to be special to get an HGTV show. Holton Wise, we actually turned down a half a million dollar contract uh, for one of those shows on uh, one of the networks. A uh, producer that did a couple shows uh, that you guys probably would have seen reached out to us, and uh, that was a few years ago. We ended up turning that down, though, because... Uh, those TV contracts, sounds great, half a million dollars. You might be like, whoa, dude, you turned down a half a million dollar TV contract? Are you insane? They really own your rights for like 15 years, right? I wouldn't be able to even have my own show, and they would own my likeness. It's a whole mess, right? So anyway, moral of the story is you're not special if you're on HGTV, so don't fall for all that crap, right? But what that stuff is, what they're teaching you guys, that's not wholesaling. Wholesaling is buying low, selling high. What they're teaching you how to do is connect buyers and sellers without owning anything. That's called brokering real estate. That's what I do. I've brokered $200 million dollars with the real estate. I know a thing or two about it. You're not going to do that. Number one, it doesn't work. Number two, it's illegal. So that's not what we're going to do. You're actually going to buy the property, folks. You're actually going to buy the property. Brian, I'm going to present to you a property here momentarily. You're going to buy this motherfucker, and we're going to turn that into some money. But here's the thing. You're in South Carolina, dude. You can't do some wholesaling down there with less than 10K, because how in the fuck are you going to buy a property down there for under 10K? So I'm going to find you incredibly cheap properties, properties where I have infrastructure to do everything else for you. Infrastructure to put together the scope of work. Infrastructure to find the end buyers. Infrastructure to do the renovations for the end buyers, to do the property management for the end buyers, and to help the end buyers do a bird deal. The end buyer is going to make a lot of money. You're going to make a little bit of money up front, and I'm going to do the majority of the legwork. Let's jump into the numbers right now. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's going to be genius granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's going to be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back, folks. We are going to pull up the property, go over the numbers, right? Getting rid of the two lies, the two lies in the wholesaling industry. You can't get started in wholesaling. Lie. Yes, you can. Two. You don't need any money to wholesale. Lie. Yes, you do. But depending on where you wholesale depends on how much or how little you actually need, right? Seven grand is the only amount of money I think we're going to need to do this deal. Now, that is almost no money depending on where you live, right? You take people from Oregon, people from Denver, you know, like Portland, Oregon, Denver, Colorado, anywhere in California, right? You couldn't wholesale with seven grand, okay? You couldn't do it, right? But if you go to someplace like Ohio, someplace like Cleveland, you absolutely can because we have properties in areas that are super, super cheap, right? And that's where this one comes along, right? 3358 East 145th, Cleveland, 
0.20. It has been on the market for 218 days. That is awesome. That is what we want, okay? That means it's been on the market over six months, okay? It's closer to eight months, right? And it's dirt cheap. This is probably like a D grade neighborhood, okay? Here's the deal. This neighborhood, like, we actually do manage in this area, so it's a blighted area, but it's not, like, the worst of the worst, right? Like, uh, if you go over this way, neighborhood actually gets pretty good, right? So I would say this turns into, like, a C area, but also, conversely, if you go this way, it's like an F area, and that's very important because you're going to want to, when you're wholesaling deals, you have to understand the value, right? You get all these email blasts and, and, and wholesalers on Craigslist, and they're like, oh, yo, property, 10K, 10K in reno, ARV, 50K. But nobody pays attention to them because, first of all, their ARV is wrong. Uh, their monthly S or their, their renovation budget, uh, all wrong, all fucked up, right? That's why you work with me, right? Because I could put all that together for you. I actually know the true ARV of this property. I could put together the scope of work. I could package this to the actual buyer, right? You get people that try to wholesale on their own, try to put all the pieces together, and they're just wasting their time, right? So that's why people are wholesaling with me, right? So you take this deal, 33580, 145th, Okay. Fringy neighborhood, but Holton Wise, we are very familiar with this area. We've got the largest real estate portfolio of its kind in the Cleveland market, right? So I have people that will buy this. I understand what it's going to take to actually turn this into like a bird deal, okay? Or to get it to an investor who's going to either burr it through me or burr it on their own, right? This duplex is just jacked, okay? It's totally jacked up, right? Like you see the porch is like falling in, all right? The thing is just a mess, right? That garage needs to come down, new driveway. The whole thing is jacked, right? But in this neighborhood, we're, like I said, fringy, but we should still be able to get an ARV of like eighty dollars to $100,000, depending on how nice we make this property, okay? So I know the true ARV. And you don't even really have to worry about that because I'll be the one selling it after the fact, right? You need to buy it on a wholesale price and flip it to that Burr investor. But here's the thing. If you don't understand how to put together the scope of work, this or that, how are you really going to do it? Make it appealing to them. That's where Holton Wise comes in. We will do all of that. Put it on Holton Wise TV, right? You're going to buy it, and then we're going to put it in a nice package on the Investment Properties for Sale show as a bird deal, and then we'll sell it, and then that person will probably pay us to fix it, and then we'll manage it for them. We got all the pieces to the pie put together. What matters for you is being able to pick it up cheap enough uh, to make your profit on the wholesale and then allowing us to sell it to that burr investor later and have the meat be on the bone for them, right? So to do all that, you got to know how much the rental is going to cost. You got to know the ARV. You got to have the ability to get all that stuff done. I take care of all that, right? So with that said, ARV is going to be between 80 and 100K as far as actually uh, <clears throat> putting this thing together, right? It's going to require a decent chunk of money, right? Probably about $50,000, right? About 50 grand, okay? So... With this thing needing about $50,000, we're going to try to sell it for just under twenty, right? So here's what we need to do. You need to pick it up at sixty-five. dollars okay? You're going to pay sixty-five. dollars Then you're going to have your closing cost at seventy-five. dollars Then we're going to sell it at eighteen and a half. dollars Once we sell it at eighteen and a half, dollars that's going to be a cool $5,000 of profit in your pocket. You're done. Then from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to burr this sucker out, so then this buyer will be all in for about 70-ish, right? And then we'll burr it out, and then they make their money, you made your money, okay? But here's the thing. The whole thing's got to work by you being able to pick it up at 65. So how can you do that? And that's, that's the big, that's one myth, too, in regards to wholesaling, right? Like, a lot of people think, oh, the deal makes sense at 65, sweet, I'll do it. And then a seller says, nah, I ain't going to take 65, and then you're scared. Oh, what do I do now? Folks, that's part of the game. You got to throw numbers out, right? You know how you get 10 wholesale deals? You make 50 offers. You know how you get 11 wholesale deals? You make 60 offers. You get what I'm saying? It's a numbers game. And you got to look for sellers that are distressed. This seller is incredibly distressed, right? House, totally dilapidated, making no money, falling apart. It's not like he's got rental income coming in. That's great. Number one. Number two, he thought it was worth more, but the market has now told him for eight months, hey, bro, you're not going to get that price. It's not worth that, right? So we got distressed, dilapidated property. Good. Long time on the market. Sellers starting to get antsy. Good. 
Seller has proven to us he's open to negotiation. How do I know this? Because this property originally was listed at 40 grand. Okay, he's come down to almost 50 percent of his original price. Right, all these things tell us this guy's really chomping at the bit, Jones, and trying to get a deal. Right, so. If we get him to accept 65, clean cash offer. That's another thing, right? We're going to make a clean cash offer. Not like all those fake gurus that teach you guys, put it under contract, and then try to find an end buyer later. You do some BS, like contingencies in case you can't close it. No, we ain't doing fuck all that shit. That's not real wholesaling. That shit don't work. It's actually fucking illegal, number one. Number two. We're trying to get this dude to take a lowball offer. He ain't going to accept some bullshit lowball offer. Any real estate agent worth their salt in the business is going to be like, yo, this ain't a real offer. This is a wholesaler, right? But that's not even true wholesaling. That's just what people call uh, call it, right? That's what people refer to it as wholesaling. That's not real wholesaling. That's illegally brokering real estate. We're doing true wholesaling. We're going to buy this motherfucker. We're going to buy this motherfucker at 65. So what are we going to do? We're going to write a $6,500 offer. It's going to close in 10 days. No fucking contingencies. No walkthrough. No this. No that. Hey, motherfucker, 6500 No questions asked. We do that. I guarantee you I'm selling this for 18 and a half. right? That is how we have a higher chance of getting the deal to close, right? We get the high chance of having the deal close by putting in a completely as is no questions offer. There's no content. No, like, oh, yeah, let me talk to my partner. No, fuck that. No, oh, let me do an inspection. No, fuck that. It's 65. You get it in 10 days. You no longer have to deal with this property. You doing the deal or not, let's go, right? Create that urgency. Make the deal easy for them, right? So you make the deal easy. Check. Distressed property. Check. On the market. A long time. Seller's getting antsy. Check. Seller interested in negotiating motherfuckers down about 50 percent of what he originally wanted check this all those things tell me all those things are clues that this is the potential for a good wholesale deal so that's what we want to do and guess what if the seller tells us no what are we going to do we're going to move on to the next one because it's a numbers game folks we got to keep it moving thanks for watching subscribe to holton wise tv for more financial information education and entertainment